Hi Crystal Souls of you doing amazing today. I'm coming with a new pinky card reading and this one is going to talk about what is your destiny. As always to pick your group, press pause, relax, meditate if you wish and when you are ready you can find a timestamp in the comments down below. Now if you are interested to book a personal reading with me, I have all the information down below. Do not be afraid to contact me if you have any questions or if you're just curious. I'm actually glad to actually connect with you guys, so do not be afraid. You can also find a link down below for my shop and my Instagram. By the way, on Instagram I'm posting some pick a card sometimes in my stories, so if you are curious and interested, join me on Instagram. <laughs> and if you want to support my work on this channel, you have a link to donate down below as well. And by the way, for all your donations, I'm reinvesting everything in tools or the cores or even the cards for my readings. So thank you so much for everyone that are donating for this channel. I mean, you, you're pretty much participating for this quality that you are receiving through my videos. So thank you so much for that. Since we're ready for this reading, let's do it. So here's the first group of the Epidot, the second one with the Moonstone and the third one with the Jasper. And then you can pick two letters, so in the letters you will discover more actions you need to take, but also some extra messages for your destiny. So you have the letter number one and the letter number two, and you have the timestamp down below when you are ready, and you will have pick your group and your letter. Let's start with the first one. The Apprentice of Swords. So what I'm getting here is someone that is energized by things, looking for things, wanting to be, you know, someone that is going to be recognized with their actions because that's someone that is taking action, who has a lot of authority, who is going to feel a bit restless. That's what I'm getting here. So try to find balance also, even though you want to maybe achieve a lot of things, maybe you have different goals that you want to accomplish. I'm saying that you need to, yes, take actions. That's super important, but also to find balance and not to suppress yourself because I'm seeing the mask. So this can be some suppression. It can be in that, you know, you actually running after goals and kind of forget it, forgetting about yourself and your own comfort, but it can also be suppressing yourself in environment or with people so that is something you need to learn i think in this lifetime you need to just show yourself to show who you truly are it can also be that some people have some complex with their faces especially so that's something you need to embrace and embrace the beauty of your own face your own body if this is physical because i'm really sensing this um and also with the moon this is some healing this is some depth something very deep inside that is shining through because the moon is shining upon darkness so this may be some healing that needs to occur in this lifetime and this can be self-acceptance as i said it can be just accepting your body accepting your own face but also accepting the actions you take um accept accepting the fact that life is supporting you and guiding you in directions and sometimes it's not what you expected so just embrace what is being given to you and if you feel like the energy is not so so positive then you can transform it i'm really seeing you as the master of your own destiny because i'm seeing the contract on this card you can see it on the knee so in my opinion you're meant to define your own contract in this destiny you're meant to write your own story and not be defined or not really defined it's, it's more being directed in paths that do not really serve you so I really see that you're going to fight for something that is meaningful. I'm seeing change coming for you guys, a lot of motion here, clarity with the lantern, with the moon also. So I think this is some event that may happen or you are meant to welcome change because I'm seeing the wind actually supporting you even though sometimes change is a bit challenging and the wind is blocking you to go further. I really sense that this is something you need in order for you to show how capable you are of you know manifesting your dream life or going further with your goals and dreams so do not give up i'm really sensing that maybe sometimes you are a bit challenged by the universe and we have to understand the universe is sending our ways challenges we are able to accept and grow from nothing that is going to destroy us but we have to be aware of this so if you have some challenge that is happening just be aware the universe knows you are capable of transforming this one into your strength 
and into something positive. And because I'm also seeing the buildings on this card, this is some construction. I think you're meant to build something in this life and build some success, I think, but also build yourself stronger because I'm seeing you fighting here. So this can be fighting for yourself, for your values, for humanity even. Maybe you are someone that is fighting for better things to come for you know, women, for example, because we still have to fight for our rights to be equal. Or it can also be with the animals, saving the planet. I'm really sensing this, this warrior energy. Now, if this is not your goal, it's fine. That's just an extra message I'm channeling for some of you. And the Four of Swords. To be honest, what I'm seeing here with the air, I'm really sensing that you came here for a mission. And maybe the contract is talking about this. I'm also seeing some some kind of letters or comic pages appearing on the floor. So it can be some uh, scenario that needs to happen in this life. And you are supposed to find peace and grow spiritually thanks to the challenges or thanks to the things you are going to discover. Um, so I really think you are meant to be your own pillar in life. you meant to start something. The number four is about unity. For me, it's about building yourself as well. So I think the bleeding that I'm seeing on this card is actually building you strong, is actually helping you to, yeah, kind of find yourself back. And I think all these challenges and all these things that are happening in your life, they are awakening some part of you. So, and I think this is super important because that's the way maybe you needed to learn in this lifetime. So it can be uh, something torturous with your family, it can be you know, relationship related, so love, friendships, or any people that are going to really torture you in some way because I'm seeing the pain here with the bleeding happening. Um, but it can also be with experiences actually being very difficult for you, but still, you need to be calm. You need to reside calm in order for things to actually manifest for you. Um, but the air sign is really, for me, someone that is here to achieve their destiny, someone that is here to learn in the process, to gain more intelligence. And this is spiritual intelligence and growth that I'm seeing on this card. And this is asking you to actually take some rest, to meditate, to relax. And it can be some retreat as well. If you feel like you are in some environment where you need to fight or show yourself or you're in, you're in an environment that is very ego-centered, then that's asking you to retreat from this environment for you to find peace. So just saying, any people uh, or any environment or actions or just experiences that are making you feel uncomfortable, then you are supposed to run away from these environments because you tell the universe, you know what, I deserve more and I'm going to allow myself to experience something more and run away from this environment that is toxic and that is causing me bleeding and pain. And that's what you can see on this card. So I think the, um, the images you are seeing here are pretty much announcing this this change. It's like you are going to rewrite, rewrite your story. Maybe some of you are artists or writers, that's what I'm getting here, or you are meant to actually create something, create your own story as a symbolic in order for you to experience the best scenario for you and your evolution as a soul. The Five of Pentacles. And again, I'm seeing some type of trauma, some type of difficulty that is making you a bit stuck. Or maybe that's something that will happen in the past or as some pattern. And when this is happening, when you feel like there is some resistance, there is some block or limit, tell yourself, okay, what do I need to learn here and now? Because if I feel blocked in this situation, I think I need to learn something out of it. And this is actually to grow, to grow in, in a spirit that is a lot more free and stable and balanced, for you to not fight for things that are not really necessary. Because sometimes things are ending and we kind of resist this end, this change, because we are afraid of something new, because we don't know what is coming. Then if you actually reject this change, it can manifest into something very difficult for you. So what I'm saying here, welcome change, the number five is appearing, so change is coming. The number five is also about balance, creation. So this is for me, something that is going to support you with the decisions you're going to make. So anything that is 
um, helping you to welcome change and to welcome the beauty of it is going to offer you opportunities. But right now I'm seeing some people not really being able to see it. And this is also talking about finances here with the pentacles. So it can be some financial hardship that was manifesting or that is manifesting for you to recognize the value of what you're doing. If you feel like you are not really putting all your values into something significant with your job or actions or anything like that, then that's a redirection. You have to be aware of this. Five is change. If you're not, if you're not really feeling balanced, even with the lack of money, because if you do something that is significant for you, you find value in it. So money is just an extra bonus. But still, if you feel good, but keep going. If you don't feel good, that's a no-no for you because I'm seeing this as an handicap. So this monkey is actually showing you the trick. And I think this one is kind of trying to get your attention for you to see the opportunity. Because behind you, this pastor is telling you, join us and there is magic here appearing so in my opinion you are going to be presented something that is going to be a lot more of a fit for you for you to be in the right environment and for you to grow with people that are going to really connect with who you are i'm also seeing this as another scenario with um the wall that you can see with the, bri the bricks on the wall so that means some construction and it's going to go bright brick i don't even know how to pronounce this and it's going to go bricks by bricks. It's like you need to construct things slowly and to enjoy the things you are building in your life or building yourself even because that can be some inner transformation and self-acceptance. That's what I'm getting here. Um, but I'm also saying that if you are an handicap for people, then you can also be rejected by people that were telling you to join them. That's what I'm getting here. It can be that she was growing with people, they were really welcoming, but the moment you changed, and that can be seen as an handicap for some people, then they rejected you. So it felt like something was off with yourself and now you're blaming yourself and you feel like you have some something to cure or some handicap or you're just an handicap for people. If this is the case, and this can be parents actually challenging yourself or telling you to do things, and so when you actually take your own road, they think, what are you doing? You, you know, and so they see you as an handicap and not someone that can actually add value in their own field. That's what I'm getting here. If this is happening, that's a challenge from the universe. That's what I'm getting here. And that's a part of destiny for you to grow in this challenge, in this lesson, and to shine. Because you are meant to actually find balance and to recognize your own value and potential. And after we have the Wheel of Fortune, I am telling you, your destiny is bright. Now, I'm not gonna lie, you will face some challenges, challenge times, even relationships. You will have to welcome the dualism because you can see this on the card with the hair color, also with a spiral, so this is yin and yang energy, but also with the cloud. It's like this darkness can be transformed into something that is going to bring you clarity. I'm also seeing the water, so this can be emotional challenge. I'm also seeing the mountain, so this can be some events, this can be some ascension for yourself, for you to find balance, for you to find the right direction, because I'm seeing this as compass. Um, we also have tarot wrote, written here, so it can be that some of you are actually into spirituality or divination, um, so if this is the case, that's the right path for you. But I'm also seeing the red ribbons appearing here. So that can be some spiritual connection. It can be you are going to meet your spiritual family with all these challenges, with all these things changing in your life. So this transformation, this dualism, you need to be grateful for that because this is transforming yourself and your life into something a lot more exciting that's what i'm getting here the number 10 by the way is chaos before perfection so be aware i'm really sensing you are meant to transform energy into perfection and see anything that can be a polarity of your happiness and that can be a bit negative and a bit challenging but you are really going to understand okay that is beneficial for my for my growth and my transformation because i yeah i really think these events, these things that happen or are going to happen are really going to support you and transform you into this beautiful person. So I'm seeing strength with the mountain, someone that is emotionally in tune with the water being calm. I'm also seeing a shift 
it can be some travel or maybe you are meant to explore yourself or explore new places or new people for you to embrace for you to embrace the lessons of the universe so now i'm going to share cards that are a little more symbolic for you guys so what i'm seeing here um i'm seeing some change again in the wind and this can also be some you know ventilate yourself take some time to refresh okay so i think this time and I'm not, I'm not sure if this is happening now, but I truly think the moment you will watch this video, you will feel the need to be guided and to feel like, okay, I'm taking the right direction or I'm doing things right. And this is a big yes. I think everything is happening for a reason in your life and that is making you aware of your own power. But right now you need to take some time to, you know, ventilate yourself, maybe take some fresh air. It can be traveling as well. Uh, traveling to a place that is going to allow you to reconnect with yourself or just to feel a lot more at ease. I think that is needed for you to be grounded. After I'm seeing the ice cream appearing, so it can be again something refreshing to heat. Oh, the heat. It can be that some people are doing too much things or want to do too, mu too much things. And now they're just ready to explode because they're not really recognizing their needs, their comfort. Um, they're not really recognizing the sign that their body or mind is ready to explode. And if this happen, or this will happen maybe, if you don't really take the time for yourself, then really that will be very difficult for you. Uh, because this is actually an energy of luck or just you lost something. So that can be you're going to lose yourself if you keep going on, you know, overworking yourself or just doing things that do not really satisfy yourself in the first place. At a moment, if you satisfy another part, at a certain point you will explode because you need to voice how you feel. So if it doesn't feel right to do something, do not be afraid to actually express how you feel. That's what I'm getting here. So nourish yourself as well. Try to not overwork yourself because that's not going to be beneficial for you. Here I'm seeing someone that is in the cloud. So that's a dreamer for me. Um, I'm also seeing that your imaginary or your imagination is very well developed. And that is something you need to use in order for you to be guided. Um, I'm also seeing some connection. So maybe you're receiving some guidance, you are being connected to the spiritual world, that's what I'm getting here. And I also believe you are meant to grow spiritually. And I think you came here actually to learn something about yourself. Um, and as I said, this can be about self-image, this can be about achieving your goals, or just finding more peace in this lifetime. So do not be afraid to take some time for yourself, do not be afraid to follow your dreams, to follow your calling, and to create your own imaginary in this reality. And the last card for this group, after what you have the letter, by the way. So what I'm seeing here, spirits all around you. So I am seeing you being guided. I'm also seeing winter season here. So maybe you will need a lot more guidance during the winter season or when the season will happen, which is a lot more cold. Um, you know, the nature is just resting. So what I'm seeing here, in this moment of rest, and this can be a symbolic as well, because we had... The meditation card so maybe when your mind will be more at rest just like the winter season this is when you're going to receive guidance so meditation is going to be super important for you to receive this receive the messages for you to be enlightened i'm also seeing the star the stars appearing here definitely divine guidance and the birds which are doves for me they symbolize peace love and freedom so that may be the big symbolic of this life for you, your destiny in this lifetime. That's something you need to achieve. So peace, love, and freedom. Beautiful. So now you can choose the letter. You have the timestamp down below, by the way. Let's move on to the second group. And the second one. So the first card is the Five of Cups. So what I'm seeing here is some type of sadness. It can be some disappointment about something. And it can be some disappointment, disappointment about what you experience. 
uh, what is coming your way. Is it something empty? Because I'm seeing emptiness with the cups here that you can see. So what I'm seeing here is that you need to change the way you see things because you may be you may be focusing on anything that you was losing but you're not really seeing the possibilities here so i think in this lifetime you will need to work on this you will need to change the way you see things because the number five is about change it's about balance it's about creation so you need to create yourself opp opportunities for you to move away from this stagnation because i really feel like you're you know sitting there uh, being desperate, just focusing on this because that's the only thing you can see um, with the glasses or this can be some uh, virtual reality that you can see here. And we may know, I mean you may know, um, this is just this reality recreated okay, as spiritual being and this is why we came here for teachings and lessons for us to ascend spiritually as spirits and so whatever you see is going to manifest so this is super important for you to take control of your destiny and change it in something that is going to be supporting you so you have the continue sign so it's asking you actually do you want to continue you know it's up to you it's up to your vision about things. I'm also seeing a bridge here. So this is an opportunity for you to leave this environment, this place. The number five is about change, remember. I'm also seeing the water being in motion, kind of creating a sp spiral behind you. So in my opinion, that's announcing this clearance of energy because water is clearing things emotionally. We also have the water card here with the cups. So emotions are going to play a big role here. I'm also seeing links with the construction. So it can be having links with people, with friends, and that can be something you need to work on. Um, I'm also seeing this as building yourself, building yourself stronger in order for you to not always keep your focus on something that is negative, but something that is supporting you and giving you opportunities. So be aware you create your reality, but now you have a choice. It's rather you see the loss or you see opportunities for yourself. And the moment you will change the way you see at life, I'm seeing success coming for you. I'm seeing you first place on this card. So this is obvious for me that this life, this destiny is supposed to actually support your success, your victory. Um, so honestly, <laughs> It's, it's all in your hands, pretty much. And I know that a lot of people are stuck. I, I know that a lot of people are really giving too much importance to things, to events, to what people say. And that is creating this environment that seems like a catastrophe for you. But honestly, you will have so much opportunities if only you shift the way you see at life, the way you see at people, if you have a lot more detachment and understanding of situations, because anything that is happening, anything people may say, this is not personal. This is their own filter that is speaking through. So really gives so little importance to what people may say, if it's not supporting your reality or the, the reality you want to create, actually. And this is the reality you want to experience. And this is the reality you came here for. Because I'm seeing you victorious. I'm seeing you being recognized, supported. I'm seeing you being at the right place. This is also telling me you need to do something that is in coherence with your path. Because I'm seeing this road as your path. And this can be spiritual path, your purpose in this lifetime. I'm also seeing connections again. The number six is about love. So this can be loving connections or doing something that you love to do. So turn your passion into success, into victory. And this is why I'm seeing recognition for some people. The moment you'll be in alignment with anything that you truly enjoy to do, but also this will you know, support other people. So that needs to be your passion, but also something that is adding value to other people's life in order for you to be successful and to be recognized and to also diffuse this energy. Because when you love what you do, when you're doing your passion for a living, but also this passion is supporting other people's life 
and mood, energy, then wow, you're doing a service to the planet, not just for yourself. Not This is not so much of the ego here. It's you actually, yes, being successful, but that is a success that is shared and that is empowering people as well. So this is beautiful. Your destiny is actually super empowering. And you know what? We have the same card. I wasn't even paying attention. When I'm shuffling the cards and preparing everything, yeah, I'm, I'm not really paying attention to things because I want to really tune in the message when I'm channeling. I'm not even looking at the cards when I'm channeling. I'm just in my own space, you know, receiving the energy and translating the energy with my words. So what I'm seeing here, again, success, victory, recognition, you being in the right place, doing what is right for you and doing something you enjoy to do. I think you really loving anything you do is going to empower the process, empower yourself, but empower people's life. Really, I'm seeing you as an inspiration. For some people, I'm really sensing that you will be successful in this life. Even some people may turn into celebrities and be recognized in the streets because that's how strong your aura is, your energy is. And this is really beautiful to see it. Um, so keep going. I think you know what you are meant to do. I think you know your passion. And I think you know what passion is great for you to turn into some empowerment for other people. I'm seeing modeling here. I'm seeing some sport. I'm seeing this as a race. So you need to put action for things to grow more quickly. That's what I'm getting here. And again, I'm seeing motion with a carousel here. And the carousel is also a symbol of you know, a bit of a dream, it's something that is transporting you slowly, you enjoy the process. So that is something that needs to happen in order for things to go smoothly in your life. But I'm definitely seeing someone that is beautiful, someone that is also using their skills, maybe their voice, their talents, definitely, to build a success and to be recognized and to also influence people in a beautiful way. And I mean, I'm seeing you as someone that is here for a mission, to be honest. I think you came here and you are destined to be successful because you are the one that is going to bring, you know, the right words for people, the right support for people. You're going to shine so much that this is going to allow the universe to kind of speak through you, to deliver messages, support, comfort and freedom to everyone around you or to everyone you will impact with your passion. And there we go. I'm not even surprised to see a queen appearing because your energy is so strong, my friend, and you have no idea on you know all the things you are meant to achieve in this lifetime. You are powerful and you have to recognize your power. And I think this is why you're being pushed in directions that are a bit challenging and you may feel like, oh my goodness, this is too much for me. I'm not sure if I can handle it. But trust me, you can. You have so much power and you have to use this power for your success, for you to be strong, for you to be seen as a queen or as a king. So this is someone who is independent, composed, very, very intelligent. So use your skills, use anything that is, you know, your own mastery to build this environment or this... <laughs> kingdom for yourself but also for people to live with you that's what i'm getting um i'm also seeing you not being afraid here so maybe this is just a phase of you seeing just loss or just seeing you know this empty cup and not really seeing that you have so much opportunities but that's in your hand as i told you b before um so transform the energy trust yourself and things are going to change in a beautiful way. I'm seeing a lot of yellow, so this is happiness, joy, success, the color of money as well, so money won't be... This won't be a problem, to be honest. If you follow your purpose, if you follow your passion, that's the best road for you. I mean, I'm seeing you first place here. So this is why people just cheer you up, and I think you're going to make a lot of people proud of yourself. Your community or the people you will reach, but also your family and friends but definitely yourself in the first place. That's super important. Um, but someone that is super powerful. That's what I'm getting here. So celebrate it. Celebrate it because you are going to do exactly what you love to do and you're intelligent enough to manifest anything that is going to empower yourself even more. 
I'm also saying makeup here. So maybe you are wanting to be a makeup artist. I'm just saying someone that is meant to be seen. And that is su super powerful. And their energy is beautiful as well and comforting as well for people. A strong spirit, <laughs> for sure. So now I'm going to share cards that are a little more symbolic. So the first one. I'm seeing you traveling a lot and I'm not really surprised because if you are meant to be successful, you are meant to reach a lot of people and a lot of people will want to meet you. So be ready because I think your life, especially if you follow your purpose, if you resist it, that's fine. I think you will learn it in another lifetime. But honestly, if you can, go for it because you're meant to explore. You're meant to discover more. I'm also saying this as something you need to open to discover what is in this luggage or it can be what is residing within yourself that you can use for you to you know kind of open up and show people that you have so much to offer do not be do not be afraid to open up i think this is super important but travel is i think going to be super important uh it can be with you know the competitions you will have if you're doing some type of sport or maybe the race um or just your skill and it can also be your energy traveling as a symbol to empower people to be an influencer and i'm not i'm not using the word influence as something negative this is a beautiful influence this is something that is going to make people's life a lot more easy better and beautiful so they're really going to celebrate life with yourself and and see your evolution as something inspiring for them after i'm seeing the juice and this is strawberry juice so what i'm seeing here is some you know when you actually drink a juice you feel so much energy so that is for me something you need to use your energy is going to be refreshing you know like when you drink something very cold um, so in my opinion, you're meant to do something that is going to nourish people's soul, uh, people's evolution. Honestly, you're meant to be an inspiration. And again, I'm seeing with, you know, the luggage, but also with the bottle with uh, the top. You need to open yourself up for people to, to discover your flavor, but also whatever is mysterious. Because I'm seeing this as something mysterious you may try to hide and that could be because you was not with people that could embrace who you was or embrace anything you had to offer see so now i'm really sensing this shift of energy and this is going to happen when you will shift the way you see things and so when you will shift that then things are going to come your way that you was not even seeing before it, it's like you remove this vr thing on your eyes and now you're seeing clearly what is happening in this world it can also represent some awakening spiritually and now you recognize okay that's what i need to do that is my calling i don't want to work for money i don't want to work for you know paying my bills or something like this i am meant to do something that is going to empower myself that is going to support people and the world and now i'm going to give myself a chance to go in that direction and the moment you will do so your life is going to change completely and that is exactly what i'm saying with the next card it's you shining because you embrace your power you're ready to welcome anything that is going to come your way because trust me the moment you do something not just for yourself so it's a service to the universe a service to other souls then this is what is going to offer you the blessings because i'm seeing this rainbow color as a protection security but also some blessing that is going to enter your circle um i'm also seeing the clouds so this is some dream for me or dreamy mind it's like your dreams are going to become reality and the moon is also talking about dreams clarity um, this is also talking about some healing. Maybe some people came here because they are going to heal people. They're going to empower people. Again, I'm saying empower so many times. But I think that's the big thing. That's your mission, your destiny in this lifetime. Just welcome what is your mission. I think this is super important because if you align... And trust me, I discovered that myself. When I started to do Tower, my life changed completely. Like completely, I cannot even describe how crazy this is and how amazing this is. 
But when you do your purpose, when you align with your purpose and share this value that you do with other people, your life is going to change in a beautiful way. And that is what I'm saying here for yourself. I mean, you're meant to be a queen or a king here. So just embrace what is coming your way. Welcome the positivity. You're smiling on this card. So your energy is going to be super important. But I'm seeing you being supported by your guides, the universe. And your destiny is bright. But as I said, this is in your hands. This is a choice, definitely. And the last card for this group, by the way, afterward, you have your letter. Um, so what I'm saying here is some ascension with the steps. And this can also describe some, um, you know, you enjoying every steps, every challenge, every chapter of your life. You know, it's like you're leveling up, but also you understand where you're coming from and why you needed to come from that place. And we were talking about this in the very beginning. That wasn't so much of a, you know, uplifting energy. That was you actually feeling a bit stuck here. But now, I mean, look at you. You're free. I'm seeing all the birds. So this is a symbol of freedom here. Peace being brought to you. And just you standing on this pillar, which is for me, you being put on a pedestal. And this is why I'm seeing someone that is successful here. And you're going to recognize, wow, at the end of the road, I achieved so much. I was, you know, fulfilling wishes. I was just here for people. I was supporting others, but supporting me as well. And now I can ascend. Well, I'm also saying this for old souls. This is not for everybody, but if you feel like you came here so many times, you know what you have to do. And, you know, you're pretty much done with this trial of the soul. I'm seeing this as your last life here on earth. Uh, so that may be the end. Because you have been achieving enough. You've been learning enough in this lifetime. Because you can see you're sitting on this, on this pillar, as I said. And now you're just like, wow. Look at all the things I achieved from my past lives. Or it's going to be from my past if you do not feel like this is my last life. And now I can just be proud of myself. That, that's beautiful. I really sense that some of you are ready to stop this reincarnation um, game, let's say. And you're ready for, for more. For something new. So you don't have to come back anymore. Okay, that is pretty much all I see for this group. Hope you like this. Now you can actually choose your letter or if you have this one in mind, you have the timestamp in the comments down below. Let's move on to the third group. And the last one. So the first card is a chariot card. So what I'm seeing here is some transition, transportation, something that is going to shift and change for you. It's also about triumph, victory, and you having enough ambition to manifest your dream life. The seventh number is for me some luck. This is also the cancer card, so it can be water sign. I'm also seeing the water on the background. So that may be some motion. The water is in motion, transporting you in a direction that is this time for you to experience because I'm seeing the stars and the stars are for me some divine guidance so it can be your guides your higher self directing yourself guiding you on this journey because you are meant to do something and I think this is a service as an angel or as someone that yeah is meant to empower people awaken the mass I think you have a big mission here not gonna lie to you um, and that can be done with your passion, that can be done with something you dream to do. But honestly, I'm really sensing you um, coming here in this lifetime to do a service to the planet, to the universe, to people and to empower everyone you're going to share your energy or your skills with. Because I'm seeing the angel sign, the Egy Egyptian sign, so that can be about reincarnation you came here so many times and that is because you need to achieve something big again and again and again so you're pretty much this star you know in 
in the sky that is shining bright in order for people to see you know anything you have to share that is valuable for them to grow with you and i'm seeing this as ascension but also this is what is going to support your victory or this life will feel like a victory because you can empower a lot of people empower yourself in the process and grow because of course i'm seeing motion with the water so change is going to be super important for you and i'm seeing you surfing on the waves it's like you're not really going to resist it i'm also seeing someone who is a bit of a dreamer a big dreamer actually and this is good because your dreams may direct yourself in the right direction for you to experience success and triumph. So go ahead, follow your dreams and follow a dream that is going to empower people. That's what I'm getting here. And you are going to be lucky. So perfect. Afterward, the ace, I'm going to put this here. The Ace of Wands. So a lot of magic manifesting. The ace is a new beginning. So it can be that for some people they need to start to chase for their dreams to chase for the passion within themselves i'm seeing the castle so this is a symbol of protection i'm seeing the triangle so this is ascension i mean i was talking about this i swear i'm not looking at the cards when i'm channeling i'm just in the energy just trying to speak through what is coming to me from the universe so yes definitely ascension uh, growth with the tree you can see magic with the one and this is something in your hand so that means your destiny is in your hand this is your making and you designed this one in the way you want it to be so whatever you want to do if it feels right and if you really see the value you're putting out there to people um for them to enjoy this one and to actually growth thanks to what you share because this has to be a value that is shared then this is what is going to transform your reality so it can be a new path for you i'm seeing this road um or it can just be telling you if you do something you enjoy and if you're really putting effort energy and empower empowering people in the process then you're doing what is right you're on the right path so it will be different for everybody. It's like, if you feel right, if you feel like this is right, then you are on the right path. And if you feel like something is off, then you need to start a new beginning in order for you to be on the right path. I'm also seeing uh, the city, the buildings appearing. So this is something you need to construct. Your destiny, as I said, is you're making, you're building this one. And I think he was given this power because your angels the universe, your guides, your higher self, they trust you. But also they trust that you are going to receive the guidance along your journey. And this is why you was given so much power. Wow, that's deep. <laughs> yeah, I'm channeling some crazy thing here for you guys. Um, Beautiful. I'm also seeing on the signs here, appearing that you may receive a lot of angel numbers synchronicities and symbols it could also be that in your dreams you are receiving some guidance or some symbolics and messages so try to pay attention to everything you are surrounded by you may see and catch um, if you're not catching them try to just you know put the intention to catch all the signs and you know mirror clocks uh, also define the meanings because if you don't know what that means that's not really going to help or guide you uh, so try to what I what I did in the very beginning I had a notebook with angel numbers and the meanings and now I'm just using my own symbolic so when I'm seeing a number appearing then I know what what is the energy around this number what is the message for me to receive through the number because of course your guides are going to surround yourself with the numbers that you know so you can associate your own meaning to the message or to the energy you see so i think that's super important for you to know or add some symbolic or meaning around numbers or any symbolic you may receive so for example you can see a butterfly and this symbolizes for you transformation rebirth and change i mean that's the global message here but yeah Try to just use that in order for you to be a lot more guided because you are on a mission here on this hearth and that is beautiful because you are meant to empower people with your magic. 
So after we have the six of pentacles. The six number to me, love, beauty. So that's something that you may enjoy to do. And this is something you need to use in order for you to turn it into success. So, and I was actually talking about this, your skills, talents, anything that was given to you pretty much is actually something you need to use to build your success. But this card is also talking about some balance that is needed. So try to find this, this balance in anything you, you actually do. I'm also seeing the curtains opening for you so it can be uh, doing something on stage or just to be seen. But I'm seeing someone that is going to be recognized. But balance is needed. In the things you do, within yourself, with your spirituality as well, with the people you connect with, um, and also with your work, because I'm seeing the pentacles, so that's success, money, this is connection with the earth, maybe you're here on a mission to empower the earth energy, and you may know the earth also has a soul energy, you know, anything that is happening, people think, you know, it's out of control, but no, the earth is communicating with things happening, so it can be, you know, uh, a tornado happening, can be the volcano going crazy. That is the earth expressing this energy. The earth as a soul, the volcano as a soul, they're all expressing their own energy, their own emotions, because emotion is what? Energy. So that can be translated this way. So I think you are meant to maybe bring more balance on earth. Yeah, I think that is it. I'm also seeing these symbols in the carpet as something loyal. <laughs> so I'm really sensing you are going to gain a lot of money. For a lot of you, you are going to be super successful. Money is going to flow your way. And this is because you are doing something that is right. I'm also seeing you giving to others, being generous with your money, generous with yourself, generous with your time that you give to others, but also to yourself. Super important. And the robe can also be a link, a link to other souls, a link to the universe and you. It can be that you are actually connected and really feel the energy. It can also be talking about cutting the cord with people that are not going to bring you balance and comfort. It can also be some links spiritually. So maybe you're meant to connect with your soul family, maybe your twin flame. And this is why I think you are being guided. I'm not really surprised because I was talking about this. You are on a mission, the angels or I energy and spirits we're giving to you and that is for your own ascension, okay? That is something you need to learn as a spirit, as a soul. So you was given this mission and I'm sure, <laughs> I am sure, you are going to actually connect with someone in your soul family at least so it can be a soulmate. And of course, soul family doesn't have to be all romantic. They can just be friends or just people you want to collaborate with to actually empower the energy of people or empower the world. And the robes can actually talk about this connection with other souls, old souls, for you to bring something new to the energy on her, to the energy around, you know, what you are surrounded by. And this can be people, it can be some atmosphere you create with anything you do. Um, afterward, we have the two of wands. So again, this is someone that is show Oh, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> okay, here you can see the S appearing. And this is also the infinite symbol. Do you see where I'm going with this? Okay, I'm honestly, honestly, I think you came here with a partner and this can be a soulmate or soulmates because we have a lot of soulmates, to be honest, or a twin flame, not gonna lie to you. And I think you came here on earth because you are on a mission <laughs> again. I'm saying this so many times. It's so beautiful to see, to be honest, because I'm seeing the moon. So this is connection with the dreams. I think you doing something you love to do, doing something that aligns with your dreams is actually something that you are meant to do in this lifetime. 
alone, it can be alone, you don't have to actually co-create or collaborate with someone, even though I'm really sensing your soul family entering life with the ass. Soul family, or this can be soulmate, or this can be twin flame with the infinite symbol, but someone you are linked on a spiritual contract with, so you can work on something big in this lifetime. And I'm seeing dance, I'm seeing performance, I'm seeing someone being seen, I'm seeing someone that is going to experience triumph, so they may be transported in new path in order for them to use their magic, their energy, to build something and to build a success. Not gonna lie to number two, by the way, this can be union and it can be romantic, but it can also be union with a friend, someone that is connected to you and the ribbons, I'm talking about this so many times, are for me some links, connections, energy, connection, ties. Here, for you to connect with people, for you to diffuse energy, so it can be something telepathic. I'm also seeing the universe on this card. This is pretty clear for me. And I'm sure this is clear for yourself. And I'm sure you came here kind of knowing exactly what you needed to do, exactly why you are encountering people that are spiritual or doing divination or you know you really sense the energy and you stick around people like that because you feel like okay that feels like home that feels like family because i can really connect with them and i just thought one 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 so for me this is a new beginning and this is a divine new beginning for you that is going to manifest and this can be a new relationship as well. Someone that may be in your field or doing the same thing. For example, if you are a painter, this person can be a singer. It's like you two share the same field. And this is art in that case. But this can be like this. You are going to connect with people that are doing the same things. And this is why you are going to collaborate with them. And this can just be talking. This is collaboration. This is being inspired by people's journey, by people's words and actions. So you can collaborate on your own, you know, creation and build it differently because you will receive this inspiration from other old souls. So now I'm going to share cards that are a little more symbolic. What I'm seeing here with a bento box, I am sensing people kind of feeling like they are empty, they don't have so much to offer, but still they want to nourish people. That's what it's supposed to actually do with the pencil box. So you are meant to nourish people's soul, evolution, transition, ascension. You are meant to also encourage people to show their talents because if it was given to them, it's for a purpose. You know, a lot of people, they think they're good at sport or art, but still they have to, you know, work in something secure because their family told them to do that. Often that's the case. But the thing is, as I said, if you was given some skills and talents, that's for you to use in this lifetime. It's because you mastered all these things in other lifetimes. So if you don't really use it, that's a waste. That's a waste because... If this is here, and if you really enjoy that, it may be your purpose in this life. And you need to use this purpose as a service to others as well, for you to grow even more. For you to grow and to feel secure and to feel good about what you do, but also for people to be inspired about your own energy and journey. So do not see yourself as someone that is empty, or do not empty yourself up because you need to follow some advices or some directions from others, everyone's mission, everyone's calling is different. So of course your neighbor is going to try to, you know, show off and say, you know, my work is the best or, you know, you should do that because that's amazing. Yes, that's amazing for you, my friend. But what is amazing for me is completely different. And I'm going to follow this because that is what is making me feel complete and not empty because I need to nourish myself and to feel good in order for me to nourish this population, my friends, the people around me, or people I will reach with what I do, with my skills. Wow, yeah, I think that is what you are meant to do. And play your game perfectly <laughs> because I think you are actually directing your life 
playing this game you i mean you are playing this game this human game this life game this reincarnation game so many times you've been here so many times and you know how to play it you know how to play it and i think you know better how to play it than all the people around you especially those who think they know best they just know what they know you know and if you know something different they may not really understand and it's okay because they are meant to experience their own purpose as well but your game is different your life is different and you need to play right you need to be proud of yourself to level up i think that's a part of it so play start start the game start to satisfy yourself in the very first place because that's super important and then that is what is going to allow you to be a lot more in connection with the universe a lot more connected to your soul family also but connected to yourself and to your desires to your dreams because that is super important for you to find balance and for money to flow your way not going to lie if you are doing something as a job or even studies that you do not enjoy or maybe you are choosing this path because it was secure good luck my friend because i think you are going to be stuck at some point and you are going to feel empty and this is only happening because the universe is using this and often what the universe is using is something that is making us in alert and this is often money or emotions if you don't feel right this is the bell ringing in your ears and making you completely deaf and you really want to move away from that This is the universe's calling to tell you you are not doing what you are meant to do you didn't came here to do that you came here for something big and when you recognize this oh my goodness my friend life is going to transform into something beautiful so trust yourself play your own game not someone's game okay you're meant to be a creator you meant to build your own creation and to be one with creation even that's what i'm getting here this group honestly often the number 3 <laughs> is something magical i'm not going to lie often this is wow this is beyond beyond magical to be honest so i really want you to listen to this message to your destiny because you are meant to do grand things definitely and i'm seeing you kind of you know emerging from the water recognizing okay you know that was difficult you was crying but still that was teaching you a lesson a lesson and the wind is actually caressing your face and your hair are just flutting so that really means to me change is coming again we have the universe appearing with the planet you are being supported there is no doubt the moon is again appearing so dreams are going to be the key for you to be successful for you to receive and for you to be generous so giving back and this can be a service so you can receive it can be money it can be love it can be um people being grateful that you're just yourself and doing whatever you are talented about i think people are really going to recognize how much you shine when you are allowing yourself to be you and to listen to you and do something that really animates your soul so emerge out of the water if this is difficult as i told you about before i'm not really surprised to see this picture here you're going to drown you're going to drown this is going to be difficult and this is just the universe again ringing the bell to tell you woohoo you're not on the right path we are not here for that and i think your higher self is also going to come and tell you you are not listening and if you're not listening they're going to find ways to communicate that you are not in alignment with what you are supposed to do and i know this is difficult i've been there myself and this is i think a gift in disguise because the moment you have nothing to lose because you lost pretty much everything you're really going to recognize the possibilities you know and even try things you was not really sure about but still you're giving yourself a chance and the moment you do that 
often this is the right answer. So trust this intuition, your inspiration and your calling, but also your guidance. If you are not in communion with your eyes of or spirit guides or angels, you need to find a way to learn how to communicate to them. What I share often, this is a simple technique everybody can use to communicate with spirits. You lay down at night in your bed when this is silent and then you ask your higher self, your guides, whoever you want to come and to knock on the wall. When you hear this knock, and this can ask, you know, several practices, but this is pretty easy. So when you hear the knock, then this is because they're here for you and they want to communicate to you. So you can use this knock technique. So one knock as a yes or two as a no to communicate and receive answers from them. This is what I do pretty much every night, <laughs> to be honest. And this is helping me so much. But of course, I'm seeing symbols, I'm seeing things in my third eye, I can hear things as well. So the more you actually welcome this communication with the divine, the universe, energy, then the more it will develop as senses. And I'm talking about this because I know what this is. The moment I open my third eye, things changed completely in my life. And I know a lot of people are afraid to do this, but your third eye, when you open this, this is a new reality. I think people that are afraid to open their third eye, they're afraid to see their truth, the truth, and the illusion of this world. But I'm honestly thinking this group is ready to welcome the truth. And I think a lot of you are already experiencing this awakening. And again, the moon, if this isn't clear, my friend, I don't know how to communicate this to you anymore. Ah, it's beautiful, honestly, because I'm seeing someone that is a dreamer and this dream is going to reflect in your life because you can see the reflection of the moon and the moon is what clarity healing dreams reflecting on the water the water is also linked to emotions so anything that is going to make you feel good is part of your destiny anything that is making you a bit you know emotionally challenged live it because i think this is not meant for you to experience it why because you came here for a mission and this is something divine and what is divine shouldn't be a torture for you. You should enjoy every little step of the process. That is beautiful, my friends. I'm so high on the energy, to be honest. So now you can choose the letter one or the letter two for extra actions and messages. And by the way, you have the timestamp in the comments down below. Let's move on. So now the first letter. So the first message here is joy. So what you are meant to experience as destiny in this lifetime is joy. You're meant to explore, you're meant to really, really like every moment of your life, every connections you make, because I'm seeing you with this grandpa, this is Heidi and the grandpa. So this can be family connection. If you don't really feel close to your family, um, as a human being, then it can also be a family, your soul family. So connections as spirits. Um, I'm also seeing the dandelions appearing. So in my opinion, that's talking about wish fulfillment. You know, when you blow on it, you wish for something and this is transported with the wind. So it can transport the change back to you. I think that is it. You need to wish big and to be joyful and reside in this positive and enlightened energy. You need to be peaceful, joyful, excited, and life is going to transform. So if you wish for something, you need to be in that energy for things to manifest. Take risks, beautiful. So do not be afraid to you know, challenge yourself or to just experience new things because you are meant to take risks. You're not meant to play secure in this lifetime. 
And I know this is difficult to hear for a lot of you because we want to be comfortable, we want to just feel safe, we want to be around people that are not really going to, you know, bring too much trauma or too much change in our lives. But if you don't welcome change, then you're not really going to welcome anything that is aligning with your wishes. That's what I'm getting here. So this is super important for you to take risks take actions towards something that is going to empower yourself in the process. Yeah, risk it all because I think that's going to be rewarding for you. Here I'm seeing someone on the smartphone, so maybe that is something that is connected to your purpose. Maybe you're meant to actually, and I know a lot of you are meant to actually be an influence for people. So it can be that you are going to be an influencer online or you are meant to maybe send messages, this can be more of a symbolic, connect to people in a subtle way. This can be virtual, of course, but this can also be face-to-face. -face. Uh, the message here, forgetfulness is a form of freedom. Freedom, my friend. And forgetfulness, so forget everything, uh, forgive even everything that is not really serving you, serving your stability and your peace of mind. Son of the sleepless melancholy star. I know I was talking about some success. It can be that some of you are going to be celebrities or are going to shine or are meant to shine in anything they are designed to experience in any moment of their lives. So if you keep shining like the sun, and I'm also saying sleepless here, so it can be that some people are a bit, you know, they're really wanting to make things better, they want to improve their life, but still they're not really taking some rest. So balance is needed, okay? Do not be sleepless if you want to shine, if you want to succeed, because I think you can go slow or at your own, at your own pace, and this is what is going to direct yourself where you need to be, because I'm seeing this card actually, you know, transporting you somewhere you know, the shopping cart that you can see here. I'm seeing a dandy energy here. Okay. So the message, before finding the right people, the only need to do is to make yourself good enough. Wow. And yes, that's very deep. You need to be your best version before welcoming people that are going to be on the same energy, vibrate on the same frequency as you. So your own mission is to work on yourself and then you will see you will attract people that are your mirror. Again, <laughs> someone that is looking fancy here. A man who truly loves you will never let you go, no matter how hard the situation is. So if you were surrounded by people who are a bit of a quitter, or you know, when difficulties arise, they just run away. If this is your energy, because that can be, then that's something you need to work on and to give more time, effort and understanding to situations or to people. But it can also be a sign that if someone is not really, you know, giving you attention or he that is here for you, then, you know, they're not meant to be with you. Because if someone loves you, they will manifest their love. If someone cares about you, they'll be here for you. And the last messages, I'm going to read them together because they are connected. Do the things I want. I dreamt a dream. So what you need to do is pretty much aligning with your dreams. And you need to really direct yourself on that path. And yeah, um, I think pretty much for all the groups, it's all about listening to your calling, listening to uh, oops, the dream, and to not let anything block you on this path to take risks because that is what is going to make you feel completely happy. So trust your dream and do the things you want. Um, also manage to be around people that are going to be right for you and here for the right reasons. If you feel like someone is not, you know, pretending around you or not being here for you, then that's because they're not meant to be in your life. So do not be afraid to, you know, tell yourself, I respect you, I love you. But I think something is off so we can go in separate ways and grow in our own path, in our own life. Because if this person is not a supporter, then that can be more of a block in your ascension. In this destiny, I think you're meant to be with someone or people that are supportive 
and helping you on this journey. That's a beautiful reading, to be honest. And I'm honestly in awe and high on the energy because when I'm channeling, you know, prophecies or destiny because I have a prophecy reading I did before, like you really sense that something is very strong here. Um, so I hope you like this reading. If you do, by the way, let me know in the comments what you think about this one. If you're excited about whatever is coming your way, honestly, I'm super excited, to be honest. And if you're new, by the way, join the family, subscribe, ring the bell. You know the deal. Take good care of your crystal souls. I love you and you're precious. Bye. And the second letter. Let's see what is here as actions and messages. So the first one, explore. Ooh, I'm also seeing you actually being in in a place or in a transition phase because I'm seeing darkness but also the light appearing and you are meant to explore in the darkness but also in the light but to be curious to free yourself from that from that lesson so I'm not really sensing you as a prisoner I'm also seeing someone that is not afraid to take risks because you can see her this little girl actually being very close to the end of the rock so she is wanting to explore something new. She's wanting to discover something new. I'm also seeing this as the universe supporting you in your quest for you to discover something that is a lot more in alignment with your own energy, with your own calling. So try to listen carefully to the guidance that you may receive. Symbolics or mirror clocks or synchronicities in general because I think they're helping you on your journey. After we have painting, maybe you are a painter or that can be a symbolic. You are meant to paint your destiny, your life in different colors because you can see them. Now we can see. <laughs> you can see them painting um, the roses in red color. Red color is what? Red roses or red color is all about passion. It can be romance. It can be love or doing something you love to do. When you can see the um, white roses, this is more of marriage, it can be communion, but it can be about spirituality as well. So it can be that you need to learn on balancing both. So transformation, transforming, you know, maybe commitment, this is talking about marriage or purity with the white roses. So transforming this into love, romance, because you have enough to offer and you are pure enough to offer this love to someone. I'm also seeing the number seven so this is luck the number two union again and these are growing so that may be a symbol of growth but painting maybe you are in the art industry or maybe you are meant to do something that is a lot more creative so use your skills to paint your destiny in a different way in different colors for you to enjoy this as a masterpiece Okay, remembrance is a form of meeting and this person is kind of face palming <laughs> or just hiding their identity. Ah, uh, I don't know, but I really sense that this is for twin flame or soulmate. It's like you're not really recognizing, but you know, meeting them is a form of you remembering who they are. You see what I mean? So I think you are going to meet people in your soul family and you are going to recognize, okay, there is a connection between you and me and, you know, it feels like I know you. So the moment you will recognize them, it's a form of you meeting their souls. That's what I'm getting for this card. The breezes must be silent. So gently does it shine. Ooh. And I'm seeing this as success or anything you are going to do. Maybe at first it will be silent, but this is what is going to allow you to shine and to be successful. See, uh, a lot of the time you can see this, this quote as um, let your success speak for you or be noisy for you or something like this. So I think it's like that. In the very beginning, you know, work quietly on something and then you will see how much you're shining and people will also notice how much you're shining in that field. So be curious. I'm also seeing this person being curious. So be curious, explore 
new things. It can also be give yourself a chance to do something a little more creative and artistic so your soul can express itself. This one is paying close attention to you. So that may be you paying attention to energy, to people, or just to symbolics and guidance. So the message, acting as if nothing born in mind is the best revenge. It's all for myself to live better. Mm. So not giving too much energy or attention to things that are negative for you to live your best life. I think that's what the message is trying to deliver as energy. Just residing composed, not being affected about things because you know what? If you give importance to energy or to events, that's going to become even more huge and grow and manifest even more. But when you detach yourself from things and observe it, maybe that's why this person was observant and pretty much composed, then that's going to bring you peace and stability. This beautiful girl with red hair. So what I'm saying here, always listen to your heart because even though it's on the left side, it's always right. <laughs> I love it. Beautiful. That's something you could write also, so it's funny. <laughs> Afterward, woke up this morning. Beautiful. Blue color reminds me of a dreamer. Creativity as well. Communication. So that may be something you need to do. And that can be something that is making you feel excited for the day. So you wake up every morning with that energy of creating something or of sharing something. I really sense that. This excitement needs to be from the very first moment of the day. So when you wake up. And the last message for this letter and for the entire reading, actually. Wisdom outweighs any wealth. Wisdom is your wealth, your power. Not surprised because for all the groups, I'm really sensing this old soul type of energy. I'm not really surprised because you guys that are following me, you are pretty much awakened. A lot of old souls, to be honest. And you are wanting to, you know, grow, explore, <laughs> And just be yourself and be wise, trust your intuition. And I think that's something you need to do in order for you to grow in this experience again. Because as I said on pretty much all the groups, you came here so many times, so many times. And you're meant to learn something and also share things with people and other souls. That's beautiful readings, to be honest. I'm, I'm high on the energy I'm I'm so happy and grateful that I can channel this energy from the universe for you guys. Um, I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this one, what you are excited about in your destiny. And if you're new, join the family, ring the bell so you won't miss any other videos. Take good care of your crystal souls. I love you.